Hi, my name is Sarah Chisnell. I'm the staff scientist here in the Discovery Theatre. And this year is the International Year of Chemistry. As such, we've been celebrating every month, which brings us to our sixth web post uh, about chemistry. Today we're going to be taking a look at something called precipitate reactions. Precipitate reactions happen when you take two liquids, you mix them together, and you get a solid product out of it. Now, I think these are pretty neat, and I hope you do too, so I have two of them to show you today. The first, um, we're going to do with these two substances here. In the round bottom flask, I have sodium carbonate solution, and in the graduated cylinder, I have copper sulfate solution. Now, when we mix these two together, a reaction ensues, and one of the products is not soluble in the other. So you get this solid, um, kind of little tidbit stuff out of it. Uh, which is kind of neat, called a precipitate. So you can see from far away, it probably just looks um, like a little bit of food coloring in there or dye. But if you get up close, um, you can see that there's actually little tiny solid particles in this solution. Now, scientists use this in order to create, but also isolate certain chemical products that they want. Okay, so now there's not only one of these reactions, there are many different types, and we're, I'm just going to do a second one here for you now. We're going to start off with the same initial uh, reactant in the round bottom flasks, is sodium carbonate, uh, but instead of copper, we're going to use iron sulfate. Now iron has this kind of orangey tinge to it, so when we pour this in, You can see that it's still the iron that's making the solid product in there. So again, we use this to isolate uh, products that we want and they're very useful in chemistry. There's actually a pretty funny quote that goes along with this, says if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitate. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little video about precipitates and be sure to check us out next month as we celebrate uh, the International Year of Chemistry again.